the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 265, Ezra 1 to 2. Investing 5,400 temple artifacts and the reconstruction generation. The people who decided to return to Jerusalem from Persia took on the mission of rebuilding the temple and returned with high hopes. First point. King Cyrus of Persia decided to manage the Persian Empire through regional decentralization. Babylon, which conquered Assyria and rose to ultimate power fell. Once the seventh years came to an end, as proclaimed by the prophet Jeremiah. Next to rise was Persia. King Cyrus of Persia set out the policy of regional decentralization. As he found fault with the previous policy of centralization during Babylon's rule. All the skilled and intelligent people were gathered in the center of Babylon, and the regional areas were left underdeveloped, which in turn meant that they produced very little tax. An example was Jerusalem. Thus, Cyrus focused his policy on regional decentralization. In order to implement this, Persia allowed the return of the captives to their respective countries and permitted them to have freedom in religion, but no other political activities. Because of this, although South Judah and Babylon were strictly conquered and conqueror, the relationship between South Judah and Persia changed to one of economic alliance. Cyrus sent back the captives to Jerusalem, and in order to help them financially, he permitted the reconstruction of the Jerusalem temple. He furthermore returned all the articles taken from the Jerusalem temple by Babylon. A second point, Cyrus's decree is recorded in both 2 Chronicles and Ezra. Ezra started his book by referencing Cyrus's decree. Cyrus's decree is documented in both 2 Chronicles and Ezra. When the people of South Judah were taken as captives to Babylon, it was like a dead end to them. However, God gifted them with the record of their history to provide them with new hope. And when the time came, God made Cyrus of Persia write a decree to send the Israelites back to Jerusalem. Moreover, Cyrus permitted the reconstruction of the Jerusalem temple. Cyrus promised to provide the materials needed for the temple reconstruction. God's plan unraveled in the most unthinkable way for the people of South Judah. What Cyrus was after was for South Judah and for the other captives to return to their countries and to economically prosper so that tax could be paid to the Persian Empire. This was the fulfillment of Jeremiah's prophecy about the 70 years and also the fulfillment of Ezekiel's prophecy about the restoration of the Jerusalem Temple. Third point, the 5,400 objects in the Jerusalem Temple which Nebuchadnezzar took during his three attacks were returned to Jerusalem by the Persian Empire. The people of South Judah were taken to Babylon in three stages under Nebuchadnezzar, and their return also took place in three stages under the Persian Empire. The reason some people chose to remain in Persia during the first stage of return was because the Persians did not force the people to leave. If the Persians had forced the people to leave all at once, then the story of the Purim festival would not have existed. During the first return, the tribe of Benjamin and Judah and some members from the tribe of Levi were the first to return. 
The return of the captives can be seen as a form of exodus for the people of South Judah. Fourth point, the leaders for the first group of captives back to Jerusalem were Jerubabel, priest Joshua, and 11 others. During the first return of the captives, God raised Jerubabel and the priest Joshua in order to re-establish the system of a kingdom of priests. Governor Jerubabel led the first group along with the high priest Joshua. Haggai and Zechariah and they all worked hard to collectively restore the temple. Thus, the temple restored during this time was referred to as the Jerubabel Temple. Jerubabel was also listed in the family tree of Jesus Christ. Fifth point, 49,897 good weeks of a kingdom of priests returned to Jerusalem during the first round. Ezra recorded the returned captives according to their families. The number of priests was 4,289 out of 43,360. But compared to the priests, the Levites were only 341 in number. This was unfortunately because many Levites gave up their positions during captivity. Although they had worked hard during the line of Hezekiah, we can see that their number decreased substantially. Once the first group returned, they worked hard to do the tasks for the temple. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.